All right, how's everyone doing? Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I wanna get into today is something that kind of comes up a lot when I'm helping guys. And the question is, where do I fit in? And it's kind of funny hearing that from them because I think a lot of people throughout their life kind of fall in this category, like they don't know where they belong, especially if they're trying to find somebody. So uh, that's what I wanna talk about in this because I think I was very fortunate where I was in a family environment where I had massive families on both sides and I was able to kind of go back and forth. One was very wealthy, one wasn't. My mother also moved to a very beautiful area where uh, I grew up in, in the suburbs of Illinois. And then a lot of my other family members were more on the streets, I guess you could say in the south, street, uh, south side of Chicago and things like that. So I kind of had a balance there as well. Also having two parents, one owning a nightclub and one being very religious, I had that component as well. So. I kind of just was programmed that I was able to fit into a lot of different environments and I still believe that to this day. No matter kind of where you throw me, I'm going to be very comfortable. You could throw me right now in a nightclub, it would be like I'd own the place. I wouldn't could care less. You could throw me in church right now and I'd be just as comfortable. Okay, I'm just saying. But I don't think a lot of people were kind of programmed that way. I think a lot of men especially were kind of grew up to be uh, just kind of their parents or whatever program to be a certain way and then as time goes on or they leave the house or whatever they find themselves not wanting to be that but at the same time being confused on where they do really belong or and that could be even in, again with relationships like I've been getting hit up lately a lot of guys not wanting to get married even in their 30s and some seem even to be wanting in their mid 40s not even wanting to get married not like before and they're having problems a lot of times with their family members, even friends, and a lot of them kind of frowning upon them, saying, why aren't you married? Why aren't you in relationships? And kind of not fitting in again. Like, And, and I can see that because sometimes, you know, if you have a group of friends and everybody's getting married and you're not, you're kind of like, hey, I don't know if I even fit in this group anymore. Even though you may be dating, but and then they start having kids and you're still dating. You don't have any, you're not even married. Now they're not only married, they have kids. They kind of have their own cliques. And you kind of fall in these situations like, where the hell do I fit in? And that could be at work too. <clears throat> Excuse me. You may be at work and after a while you're like, you know, I don't, you know, of course you're friends with people, but you're like, I'm not down with this click and I've been there. I'm not down with this click. That's why what worked for me really was traveling. But I didn't really, um, and it could be at school, even if you're younger. I don't care if you're in high school, college. Sometimes we just don't know where to fit in. You might want to try where you don't fit in. <laughs> I know that like kind of streamlined and I talk about it a lot of times. I'm very like uh, confident to say, you know what? Even if you ask me to do things, a lot of times I just know it's not my thing. So say I have friends that like to go fishing, especially a lot of Italians, never go fishing with them. I'm like, I'm out. A lot of them want to go boating separately, right? That's a boating thing. No, I'm out. I mean, I'll water ski. Uh, some go hunting. I'm out. Camping, I'm out. I kind of streamlined it to say, and I let everyone know, that's where I don't fit in. I know that part of it, but if this is where I do fit in, and actually my mother said this a long time ago, I was at a wedding, we were at a table with I think a lot of, was it police? I don't know, and some business people, a bunch of different people at my friend's wedding, and they were going around the table, and some were executives, and some were business, and some were cops, and then it came to me, and I didn't even answer them, and, and they said, hey Rich, what do you do? And my mom stepped in, she goes, oh, he's kind of a restaurant guy. <laughs> And it kind of hit me, or I think she might have said a bar restaurant guy. And the truth was, that's what I was. I spent the majority of my time collecting money in and out of bars, right? Restaurants and nightclubs and gentlemen's clubs. That's kind of who I was. And I knew where I fit in, but I can tell a lot of other people even talking about sometimes the truth of where they kind of want to go or where they want to fit in is even an issue. And if you're out there, if, if you're somebody like that, listen, you may have to come to a point in your life, you need to experiment and do things. I just don't want you to hurt yourself. I'm not telling you to run out and do anything inappropriate. That's not what I'm saying either. But if you get a little open-minded, you may, and you, you don't know where to fit in, again, maybe experimenting. And that can go for maybe meeting women. It could be maybe making new friends. That can be just going out and trying things you never tried before. Because if you don't feel like you fit in, in the environment you're in, you probably don't. But you, if you want to fit in some other environment, you want to make new friends or you want to try different things, kind of go, I talk about where your energy leads you, right? A lot of us don't want to admit we want to do different things. We want to go, if you never played an instrument throughout your life and, you know, 
all of a sudden you feel like it, but you're like, oh my God, that means I'd have to go, you know, rehearsal or join a band or I got to go take a class. I'll be embarrassed. Go try it out. You'd be shocked. You don't have to be a professional musician to be around musicians or even go listen to music or things in that nature. I don't care if it's fitness too. You may have never been around fitness your entire life. You're entirely intimidated, but you don't fit in like, maybe you're obese. Maybe you, you don't like the way you look. You're like, go try it. That's maybe where you'll fit in. I don't know where you'll fit in, but if you don't try different things, you'll never know. All right, so just want to do a quick video on this because I do think a lot of people are lost uh, throughout their life. And especially if they've been in maybe a relationship where the relationship ends sometimes and people take sides. Or you may have been more wrapped up in whoever you are with family or friends. And then all of a sudden you find yourself by yourself and you're like, now what do I do? You know, you, you got to move on. You gotta experiment. It's a next chapter of your life, but I can promise you, if you experiment, you keep a little, you know, your mind open, you'd be shocked that there's a lot of things out there that you'll probably love to do. You just never tried them. So, I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you want to know more about me, you can go to masteringselfconfidence.com. That's where I try to help men. Uh, with their confidence, basically, and also help them with relationship advice, wardrobe, fitness. I'm also at richcholenza.com. And if you got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up if you agree or disagree. All right, take care.